So I couldn't help myself. I started to, decided I was going to put this together now, even though it's freezing cold outside and it's getting ready to rain and storm. But, but as I was unpackaging, I noticed that this was dented in transit, and it's very obviously dented. I'm not sure if you can tell that, but it's very obviously dented right there. I don't think that will affect its usage and its its capabilities, but um, hopefully it will not create an issue. But so it's pretty cool. I'm uh, putting this together as it sits in the carrying case, which is uh, like a trifold. It's pretty awesome. I like it. Um, so I'm just taking step by step. So I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. It's got really nice instructions, as you can tell. And it shows all the different steps. It's pretty cool. And I'll read these off. Not all of them, but you'll get the gist. But basically, you can see what it's giving us. These are really cool. They screw on. Those are the feet. And I've already just screwed one on. And I'll try to show you how I do it when I put it together. I could make this faster by getting the drill, but it's cold outside and I don't want to go outside. That's the joy of having my fireplace. So this corner, it actually creates a barrier here. If you can see this, sorry, my filming is awkward when you only have one hand and one hand on the screwdriver. So anyways, uh, it creates like a wind tunnel uh, barrier but it was kind of bent and that must have been where uh, it got dropped in shipment but i'm just trying to start with that one and then i'll move my way down word to the wise put the legs on first because it'll scratch Granted, it's a fire pit, but I'd like it to look a little bit nice for a little while at least. You can tell. Pretty tight. Looks pretty cute. Now for the... I didn't even know what you want to call it. Air damper? I don't know. Okay, well, the damper's on. That's what it's called. Heat distribution. Pretty cool. There's their cute... Reminds me of a Viking. I don't know. Maybe doing a fire dance or something. Okay, first thing first. This is the ashtray. Um, it is a optional, obvious, removable ashtray. And then we would put the ring on top. And this goes on top of the ashtray. And then you would put your fire starter, your charcoal, or your wood right here. Everything's removable, which I kind of like, and it just fits right in. I can't believe how easy this is. I was a little intimidated, but you know what? I got this. This is so easy. Next is going to be putting the lid on it and how to put the grill together because it actually comes with a grill. So, it comes with this cool handle, which you basically just put together via the top of the lid. You can see that. I think I'm, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't like how it just 
don't you know. Like, it is not moving anymore. Filming accident, sorry. It is not moving anymore, so I don't know what happened there. But luckily, I'm not going to use it just quite yet. So I can still work on tightening that. I just wanted to put it together. Yeah, I don't like that. It moves. Yeah, that ain't going to work because it'll be off before you know it. I'll get it fixed. But anyways, so this is going to be an issue for me. You spend this kind of money, you don't want your grill to be damaged like that before you even use it. I was wondering what happened when I opened it. I had stuff all over my couch and I felt like it was sharp, so I sucked it up with the shot back. But you can see here it's it's concaved in and it's dent here here and here but the fun thing is let's move this out of the way there's a grill that you just set right there that is pretty awesome and you could actually grill on it like a Kingsford charcoal smoker I'm liking that pretty cool comes with a thermometer that I'm not gonna take out yet because I'm not ready to use it a really nice hot glove And a cover and a nice, we already showed you the tool kit, but here's the tool kit again, the barbecue tool kit. Now I'm going to try to put this together with the ring and see how that looks. Ring is just for the fire pit portion. Um, you can also have the grill on top of it. I'm sure you could probably do that if you were doing s'mores, but why? So it would definitely, we're going to have to keep that styrofoam though to protect that glass ring so it doesn't get broke I need to come up with some kind of alternative for that I think but anyways I'm pretty impressed I think we definitely would recommend some kind of casing for the glass itself but this is a cover that fits right over it and then as you can see if I start to put this together, sorry. It just comes over and attaches. Just like that, but obviously without the ring. So the ring has to go inside and has to be protected another way. Well, we'll figure that one out. But. I'm pretty impressed. So far, so good. We'll see how it works outside. But I did it. And if I had been outside with the table, it probably would have taken me less than 10 minutes to put it together. That's awesome. Girl power.